Next target we've got, just down here I'll let you have a listen. Oh, it was, was me. Screw thing, I don't know if it's off an old style pen or something. I'll have a look there, put it in the bag. On to the next one. So we've got another target. Just here. Yeah, have a listen. 55. It's quite similar to the wee buttons we've had earlier on, so it could possibly be another button. Although it could be a gold coin. That would be good. It's in here somewhere. Shank on the back as well. Oh, it's really delicate that one. You can see it. I think you can see it crown. Lovely wee button. I think it's got some writing underneath it as well. It's really hard to see. That's another wee nice button. Fantastic. Now we've got another one just down here. I'll let you have a listen. Just right here. It's kind of scratchy. High 40s, mid 50s. But a certain way, it's giving me a good tone, so I'll give it a dig and see what's there. Fifty-five, that was a lot better tone there. Sometimes if you take a wee layer of dirt off, it lets you get a better tone. Another bit of lead. It's kind of pattern of some sort, or it's just the way it's melted. I'll keep that and give it a clean later. Have a closer look. Nice one. So we've got another target just down here. Another big bit of glass. We'll dig this together, see what we get. Yeah. 
It's a really big chunk of lead. Very strange, looks like somebody's poured it, made it themselves or something. Really solid, really heavy. Very strange. There's no holes in it or no writing. Must have used it as a weight for something. We'll put it in the bag. Well, the next one. We have another target. Just down here. Wait right if all you listen. It's a wee bit scratchy, but sometimes if you dig a small hole, it brightens up the, the tone a little. But then again, sometimes it can do the opposite. Still kind of jumpy. I'm not too hopeful now. Might be a bit deeper. There's definitely something down there. I thought it was another lead button, but it's definitely lead. Maybe a token, possibly. Don't see anything wrote on it. I'll put it in the bag and I'll we'll have a closer look later. Oh, I just noticed that as well. Now that's interesting. When you see rocks, they've got a really flat, smooth surface. The other side's bald. It could possibly be prehistoric or later on someone using it to grind stuff down because you could imagine that being full. It's the exact shape of a hand. Grind on stuff. And you feel that end, it's really smoothed off. Kind of curved round there. It's a very interesting stone, it's a nice shape. It's the exact shape of your palm. So that's usually a good sign. If it fits my hand, it fits their hand. I could imagine myself grinding food down, possibly stone, anything at all. It's a really hard granite type stone, like a big pebble. That would grind just about anything down. Well, it's nice, I'm going to keep that. It's a nice find. Next hole, put it marked down here in the grass. Here, crunchy, crunchy. Let's dig it. I was getting a good signal, but I'm not getting a good signal now. But we'll dig it and see what's there.
Next target, just down here. I don't ever listen, it was in the 70s. Right, 76, 80, 76, 80. I'll give it a little dig, see what we've got. I'll give it a little listen. Really old aluminium. Maybe a snuff can or something. Tin, sorry, snuff tin, not sure. No! No! That was a great signal, too. Get a hole fixed, on to the next one. Get another nice wee clean banging signal. 60s. 60, 61, 60, 61. Now that was deep. Fell down a wee hole there. Another piece of can. Oh, there is a bit of writing on that one. Gills or something? Gills? Collies? Coals, maybe? Not sure. Junk. That was a really good signal. We'll get this hole put back. We'll go on to the next one. Well, that's the last hole for the day. Been no bad day. 
used all the batteries in my machine. Need to charge them. Ah, it's been no bad day. We've got a few buttons. Lead buttons, a few copper buttons, some writing on them. Yeah, what else did we get? We found a stone, possibly been used to grind down wheat, flour, anything. Yeah. Look at that lovely view. Some baby cows and calves on the field there. Lovely. E babas. So, it's been a good day. We've got a good few more places to go and try here. But I think the next time we go out, we'll try a new permission. Yeah. It's a lot of history at that area. Yeah, the Romans were there. On the old 17th century maps, there's a few houses. So I suspect there's been a lot happened there. Yeah. North Calder water that runs through there. Which runs into the River Clyde. So it's got to be some history. But we have a look, look about us. Absolutely amazing. The last time I was here, that poor bird spent the entire day trying to scare us away. But on the next time. Hopefully we get some gold coins. <laughs> but thanks anyway if you like. Then like and subscribe. Maybe even share it if you can be bothered. But till the next one. Thanks again.